We have to get to our cover story. Okay. Gwyneth Paltrow's former second in command at Goop speaking out about wellness culture, now claiming that it can be toxic. Kaylee Hartung has all of those details for us. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, Amy. Elise Lunen was the second person that Gwyneth Paltrow ever hired to help her launch Goop. And Gwyneth has said, without Elise, Goop in its current iteration wouldn't exist. It has become an empire. But now Elise is questioning the very culture that she helped build. And now it's this modern lifestyle brand. A former Goop executive, the woman who helped Gwyneth Paltrow create the mega brand, now challenging the company's ethos, alleging wellness culture can be toxic. I'm just trying to get to a place where I can, again, be in conversation with my body um, as those conversations had become distorted. After leaving Goop in 2020, Elise Lunin writing on Instagram that she needed to break a tendency to be critical and punishing, vowed never to do another cleanse again, and went into full rebellion. I've been eating like a teenager for two years and enjoying it, to be honest. Lunin now saying I'm clearly being called back to a place somewhere in the middle because my stomach often hurts. I think we can all get wrapped up in trying to attain wellness, but it's not about a destination. It is a journey. And when we have quick fixes like cleanses and detox and short term, I think drastic measures, it isn't really cultivating health. And that's where wellness can be toxic. For seven years, Lunin working closely alongside Paltrow to build the trend setting goop empire. I think self care helps us change the conversation a little bit and kind of get into our bodies a little bit more. Though Paltrow is the undisputed face of the brand, Lunin, as its chief content officer, stepped into the spotlight as the co-host of the Goop podcast and a staple in the Netflix series The Goop Lab. How old are we? <laughs> but as the company has grown into a multi-million dollar brand, so is the scrutiny. Some have criticized the company for promoting certain products with dubious health benefits, and some employees reportedly quitting in recent years, citing low pay, burnout, and difficult leadership. Goop does a really good job of breaking wellness stories and setting wellness trends. Sometimes they're financially unattainable for people or the requirements of the cleanse or the fad just don't work with people's lifestyles. They do bring things to the surface and people in the wellness community do listen up. And Elise now has her own podcast and she's working on a new book and she says she has decided to stop punishing herself for refusing food. She says that she hopeful she has broken this cycle. Amy. All right, Kaylee, thank you for that. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.